Hello and welcome to this week's uh, webinar on the app. Um, so I'm going to take you through um, how to use the app, sort of some basic um, settings um, and how to set everything up. Um, the app that I'm using at the moment is the um, demo version, which you, anyone can download um, from the App Store or the Google Play Store. Um, and then you can have a play around with it and um, see what you think. Um, so first, I'll just sort of take you through um, the home screen. So you've got your animal record here. Um, so this shows you a um, overview of each cow. Um, you can flick through the cow records using the arrows at the bottom, um, or you can press the little magnifying glass and you can search for an animal um, from the top, and then that'll take you to her record. Um, to find out a bit more information about her, um, if you go up to the little um, bits of paper in the top uh, right-hand corner, in here, this gives you a list of the different things you can have a look at. So you can look at her milk recordings. Um, so this shows you for the, what her current lactation is happening. So you can see all the milk recordings listed there. If we then go um, back up there, you can then go into reproduction. Um, and then you can see um, what's happened there. And then you can also go to uh, previous lactations um, up at the top using the plus and minus keys. If you wanted to enter in anything for this animal, um, if you go to down in the bottom right where there's a little cow with a little triangle um, in her, if you click on that, then you can then enter in here. So you've got all the different options. You can put in um, pregnancies, dry offs, um, any healths. Um, so each thing. So if we say we're going to put in a health condition, so then you've got the date here, and then you can search what health condition you want to enter in. Um, and then you can add in any treatments that you want for her. So you can enter in um, on an individual animal basis. You can also do it as a batch entry as well. Um, so if we go back to the home screen, you've got a batch entry option here. So then these, this gives you the option of all the different um, entries you can do for um, batch entry. So if we go into dry off, so and then you've, what you can do, you can then add animals into that list from here, and then you can dry those animals off. Um, and then underneath that, you've got your um, action list. So you've got animals that are um, due in heat to PD, dry off and calve. So if we look at our draft list, so this lists um, all the animals that are due to be dried off. If you click on one at the bottom, um, it will show you what the cow is, um, what group she's in, um, the date that she's due to be dried off. And then you can also see which bull um, that she's been served to, when her expected calving date is. And then you can also see the draft treatment that we suggest for her as well. So then you can select um, multiple um, cows from here, and then you can press the little uh, tick in the bottom left, and then this actually says you've got three animals selected. What's the date that they were dried off? Then you can go in and add a treatment. So we can put in, they've had dry cow therapy. You can then add in who's done it, and then you can also go through and add in your medicines from here so everything that you've got on the PC um, in your uniform program on the computer that will be transferred onto your phone app as well and then you can select what um, medicines you use the amount per animal um, and then if you've got um, stock in there that will batch number will come up and then if we press a little tick then we can see that's entered in um, then you can add another medicine if you want to if you're happy that that's what has happened just press the tick again and then you just have a little overview of what you've entered in and then tick again and then that enters that in for those three animals. So if we go back to the home screen and if we go up to the little menu in the top um, right hand corner where you've got the three dots, we can then go into registrations and then in here we can see everything that we've entered in on the on the phone. So you can see there the drafts that we've just entered in. There's a service in there and there's also a foot trimming that's been entered in. If you've made a mistake on an animal or you need to edit a date or something like that, you can do that in here before you synchronize it back to the computer. So you can just highlight the one you want to change and then there's a little pencil that appears in the top right hand corner. Press that and then it will take you back to um, what, what's been entered in and then you can change the date or change the ball. Um, depending on what you want to do. Once you're happy you've made the changes, just press your tick again. It might come up with a little bit of information, but you can just continue that. And then that changes that date from the 22nd to the 21st at the top there. 
Um, if we go back up to the three dots at the, in the top right hand corner and go into settings, you have the option here. If we go down to where it says home and then go into here, you've got the option of customizing your home screen. Um, so you can pick and choose what you have um, on that screen when you first come into the app. You've also got the option to have an, another tab. So this is tab one and then you can have tab two, so then you can have two screens um, of information so you, it makes it easier for you to use. If we go back to the home screen, and if I go to, to my tab two, so a new, um, a new um, part of the app is this hoof trimming section. So here it'll give you a list of all the, the cows that are sort of due to be dried off on here. So you can select an animal, and then what it'll do, based on what you have set on your computer for the um, health conditions for um, feet and legs, in the feet and legs category, those will be listed below. Um, this is just the demo version, so it just puts a couple in, but all your ones from your um, program will be listed below. So you can then enter in, um, if it's just a normal foot trimming, or if, she's if she actually has a health condition alongside that, so then you can select which foot it is. And then as long as you're happy with everything, just press the little tick and then that enters that as a foot trimming for that animal. If we go back one to the home page, so then you also on here, you've got your vet checklist. So again, you can have a separate list from what you have on the computer to what you have on your phone. Um, so you don't have to have the same information on the PC that you have on your phone. You can customize it a bit differently and you can do that in the presets on the computer so if you want and want to help set that up um, just give us a call and we can talk you through it and log in and help with the vet checklist on here so it gives you the list of animals that are due for a vet check if you click on one um, it'll then tell you a bit more information about her and also the reason why she's on the vet checklist so if we go through, so then, yeah, no heat after carving. And then what you do at the bottom, you then got the option to enter in a health condition for that animal, um, or you can put in a PD check, uh, or you can just put in a vet check, okay, so saying everything's fine, um, and then she will get removed off the list. Or you've got the option of going to the little cow with the triangle and putting a bit more in-depth um, information in for that animal as well. If we go back up to the menu up here, so if we go back into settings and if you scroll down to the bottom, you've got an option here, it says optional items. So in here, so you can add some extras in onto your app, so what you'd like to see. So if you want to have um, photos or you want to include the cow grade um, on, on each animal record, um, your attention is vet check. And then you've got an option at the bottom here for health. Um, so this shows you, um, the health information of that animal. So you can choose whether you have it on automatic or or you can just show the current information um, or none at all, but that's up to you what you want to have on that. And then once you are, you want to update your phone or you've got information on your phone that you want to send back to the computer, um, you can go into synchronize. So what it will show on here, because it's a demo version, it doesn't come up, but you would have a send and receive new data or a receive new data option on the phone. And then you also at the bottom have got our view changes. So you can just go through the registrations again, just to check that you're happy with everything before you send it across. Um, so you don't have to, you don't have to send it across, then correct any mistakes on the computer. Um, so I'll just see if we've got any questions. No, nope, no questions so far. Um, so yeah, so the demo version of the app is available to download from the App Store or the um, Google Play Store. Um, if you're also interested in putting your own data on it, um, we can do a month's free trial for you, so you can try it with your own cows in the, in the program, um, and then see how you get on with it. Um, if you would like any more information on the app or would like any help um, setting up onto your phone, uh, if you give the help desk a call um, and then we can sort that out for you. Um, but if you if you have any questions or anything, um, please put them in the question panel. Um, and then if we don't get around to asking them, we will um, answering them, we will give you a call and go through it with you. 
I'll just check see if we've got any more questions. Nope. Okay. Well, thank you for um, for visiting the app. I hope um, hope it was helpful. Um, we've also got another session this afternoon. Um, again. So yeah, and hopefully you can come to next week's as well. Okay. Thank you. Bye.